conductive tape tips. Cut the silver, not the white. It can be quite difficult to peel the backing from the tape. To do this, you just need to try each of the corners and see if you can get it to the separate. The easiest way to do this is to peel back the silver section with your fingernails, but it is quite fiddly. When I'm working with the tape, I always cut the silver and never cut the white. This means that the white continues on and you never actually have to separate the silver and white from the same point. My advice is to remove the backing bit by bit. There are two ways of removing the tape from the backing and then wrapping it around the block. You can remove all of the tape that you need, cut it, and then wrap it around the block. The problem is this can be quite fiddly because you have to deal with the whole of the tape and not let it stick to itself. So although this is successful here, it's not necessarily the easiest option because you have to stop the tape sticking to itself. I find it much easier to use the alternative method, which is just to remove the backing from the tape as you're using it. So that means that you just remove a small piece and then you can let it go, it can't stick to itself and then you can just continue on. It just saves the tape from being able to stick to itself. I find this method much easier. Be careful what you are touching. When you're using tape blocks, they're working with conductive tape. That means that if they're sitting on a metal surface, like tin foil, they won't work. You need to lift it off the tin foil for them to work. So just be careful when you're working that there aren't other conductive things that are going to get in the way. 